All right. Hey, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today. I'm not gonna lie. Th this caught me off guard. Like, I was thinking, like, ooh, a new Kobe Cat video will probably come out soon. And I was thinking, what could it possibly be? It could be, like, Callisto Protocol... Uh, like what, what our games came out in the last like few months that have been controversial, maybe Hogwarts legacy in some way. Um, what, what else? Wasn't there something else recently? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I was not expecting Resident Evil 4 to get the treatment considering how great the remake was. I was not expecting that. This is a 37 minute video. Now I don't think the, all right. The, the, the title of this is, right now, at least is called soul versus soulless Resident Evil 4 comparison. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a regular video. Oh, I guess let's read this actually. Uh, this is a critical one-sided comparison, mostly about art and cinematic direction. Okay. Observe and draw your own conclusions. Recorded on uh, GameCube version, upscaled 30 frames for its original color, saturation, and lighting. Uh, sequences are not entirely uh, necessarily in chronological order. So this is going to be, oh, okay. So this is just going to be about art and cinematic direction. Okay. I got you. Um, I feel like Resident Evil 4 remake though. Freaking nailed that stuff. Like uh, it looked, it looked, it looked real good. All right. I haven't played Resident Evil 4, the OG, in a very long time, though. So I'm actually kind of interested in just seeing this just from an art style-wise, I guess, now. Now reading that. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was just going to be like, uh, uh, he doesn't say, no thanks, bro, bad, 0 out of 10. He does say the bingo line, though. So, let's get to it. I think there's there were some things in Resident Evil 4 Remake that I... I'm talking about story-wise and even dialogue-wise that I think are far superior than the original. And I get I get it. I get it. Resident Evil, I love Resident Evil 1. It's cheesy as shit. And I kind of... I'm not gonna lie. I kind of miss that. Because it's still cheesy, but it's not the same kind of cheesy. I, I miss when it was like 4. But there were some lines that just didn't age well. Um, and it's not about the, the ballistics one. Actually, I think it, they could have easily kept that. Um, I'm not that kind of guy. It's like, ew. Uh, but like, just, just some lines are just like really bad and like not, they're just kind of cringy now. And just like, eh. Like when he says, like, uh, well, actually, no, I kind of like the line where he says, um, um, to Salazar, uh, your right hand comes off. It's, it's so lame and stupid. I kind of like it. Um, but there's other dialogue. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go. Link in the description uh, if you want to watch it yourself. I mean, it's almost 40 minutes long. So, well, I'm going to just chill out and watch this, okay? This is going to be a chill out one. All right, let's go. We're still our own police guy. You know what, Keith? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Keep the lockers, doesn't get lucky. Lorica, take a Sorry to apologize. you. Which, by the way, he broke into the fucking guy's house. <laughs> he gave him some bad attitude. Freeze. I said freeze. No. If you're speaking to him in fucking English, Bob. You <laughs> wouldn't be able to tell what he said. Well, they do that in the, uh, the new game, too. I love that. Uh, this isn't exactly the same thing, because... I mean, this is the first time you get to shoot somebody, I guess. So that's what he's showing, kind of. But, like, you do see in the beginning he talks to that guy. And it's like the same scene, except you don't control it. He's not a Zambo. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, this this does piss me off that they don't... Why, is it, why? I feel like the newer Resident Evil games just don't do this anymore. Like, this part should be in it. Why does it say the guy say Resident Evil? Anymore. At least Resident Evil. At least they keep the sound effect, but where's the... At least say Resident Evil. Maybe not the n number. Okay. I get I get what it's demonstrating here. Maybe even just sound design, too. Okay, sure. Yeah, the ambiance is definitely... Yeah, nice wind sound. Sure. It's way more subtle in a remake, that's for sure. Which is really funny because, like, Resident Evil 4, the original, is... It has moments that were scary. But, like, this was back when... I, I played this game when it was still new. Like, I, I got my copy when it was, like, 20 bucks used at GameStop. And that was, like, maybe four or five months after a game came out. That was back when games would drop in price pretty quickly. I mean, games do, too, now. Actually, games probably drop in price way quicker now. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> so, but they still drop pretty quick back then. I won't pause too much more. It's 
gonna be a fucking three hour video if I pause all the time. I don't know, I think they're just going more subtle. Like, I get it. But, like, this is, this definitely was trying to be a little bit more, like, the original was more. Uh, maybe gothic. I will say this version of the scene is better. Just the scene, not the not the encounter. I think the encounter is awesome in the remake. He doesn't say shit either, which I don't know why. I, don't know. I love this version of Leon, though. I think this is probably my favorite version of Leon. I think the voice actor does a great job. I love the Resident Evil 4 of Leon, though. That's not to say I don't like him. I think I just like him as a character more. Like that crackling sound. That's nice a little fire crackle. Yeah, you hear more things in the background. Like, I'm not wearing headphones for this, but I uh, hear more, like, yeah, a little a couple drips here and there. The big cheese. The big cheese. He doesn't say that. Wait, no, does he say it? No. Wait. No, he doesn't say it in a remake. No. I love the big cheese. Though. The big cheese. Get the fuck out of here. Not this guy. Who are you? Right there. He's like, fuck you, bitch. Get the fuck over there. He smacks the gun out of his hand. I will say I like Ada in the original better. No no offense to Lily Gao. I know everybody gave her shit, but her performance was not very good. Like, just straight up. Sorry. Like, I, I, I would never attack her. But I, I think you're you're allowed to say someone's performance is not good without it needing to be an attack on the person. Um, her performance was not very good, though. Um, there, it's weird because sometimes she's okay, but I feel like whenever she's in the cutscenes, it's not it's not good. But when she's like when you're like playing and she get you get a call from her or whatever on your thing, those scenes sound okay. But like the cutscenes, I don't know. There's something weird about them. I know she also played her for the four seconds she's in that fucking last Resident Evil movie. Even in then, I was just like, I was getting a porn star quality of acting from her and um, the the Alex Wesker. I always say fucking Alex Wesker. Albert Wesker guy. I don't know why I say fucking Alex Wesker. It's not... It's that A name, but it's not anything like... I like that they give uh, Mendoza a little bit more character, I feel like. Just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe not a little bit more character, but he feels a little bit more... I don't know. Realistic? I don't know. Not that you need that. Yeah, that, that that's... I guess there's no sex discrimination. <laughs> it's... Alright. To be fair. No sex discrimination. You fuck with us, you get pinned to a wall. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's any argument that the remake looks far superior, but there are things that in the original you could do back then, obviously, graphic, uh, 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 aesthetic-wise, and like sound design, you could you could do this back then. So they did it, and in the remake they didn't do it. They went a different route. And I think it works in Resident Evil 4 remake. I, 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 they're still different games in tone. Like, this game's still goofier and a little bit more gothic, almost, I guess. So the, the sound kind of matters, or makes sense. I like this. It's not a cutscene in Resident Evil 4. You just see it from far away. I actually prefer the Resident Evil 4 remake version of this. I think it's just people are so... Like, everything in Resident Evil 4 original is so... I know I said I, I'm not going to stop too much more, but... I'll try not to. Um, it's so classic. So any scene in the original Resident Evil 4 is like, oh, you need to keep that scene. And when you don't... Like, imagine if we played Resident Evil 4 for the first time before Resident Evil 4 Remake came out. Um, they, you watch the scene, you go, oh, okay, big monster. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that's like a classic scene. I don't think this is a, like a scene that needs to stay in. So I prefer it like this, where we see it through Leon's eyes. More so. I like that better. For this Resident Evil is four is definitely more subtle. And of course you have this. It's so good. They kept it too. 
I do I do find that disappointing though that it turns into a cutscene more so than yeah much more quiet much more subtle yeah. La nice and loud I think gameplay wise it Resident Evil 4 remake is far superior <laughs> I like the music too. What the fuck? Leon, it's been six hours since our yeah. last transmission. I was starting to get worried. I, I, I was a little Don't disappointed they keep this. Condor One, you've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Rapido, rapido, rapido. Yeah. They didn't keep them all trying to bring it out, which, well, to be fair, is kind of fucking stupid. I won't, I won't want to do this shit. Especially since it's going to come out anyway, so what the fuck's the point? Trapped in a cave, I don't know. Maybe it just wants to stay in the cave, I don't know. Maybe it makes sense in the world. Oh, fuck out of my goddamn face. Yeah, fuck out of here. Dude, you better not say the wolf scene is better than the original. The wolf scene in this is so fucking sick. In the remake, in the remake. This game looks so good. God damn, look at that wet gate. Look at that wet door. It's good, good wet, good wetness. Again, much more subtle. The long out, long drawn out scene of ten dudes trying to wrestle them out. That's yeah, the dog scene. Did the dog show up here or something? I don't know, yeah. Yep, this puzzle. Yes, not as atmospheric. I, I agree. It's not definitely not as atmospheric. I still think Resident Evil Four remake is a little scarier <laughs> at times. Like the lighting is much better. Sounds more like an alien invasion, if you ask me. Maybe. <laughs> I think Sadler's much better in the remake, though. Yeah. You okay? I forgot how many Leon, upskirt shots there were. What's gonna happen with to Ashley? Us? Don't worry. Shut up. I 110% prefer Ashley in the remake. She's not a fucking annoying little asshole. I don't think she is. Really. In gameplay, she can get a little annoying sometimes. But I mean, just like in cutscenes. Trust me. Do it. Go! Hell yeah. That's right. It's not as loud, I will agree. I think this is kind of weird because, like, it, it's obviously like you you show all these examples. It's obvious they're not going for the same thing. I would not call that soulless, though. I just I I would just say they're going more subtle. Obviously, they are because they got rid of a lot of the goofy ass lines. There's some that are still there. Um, they gave some characters more character. Like I feel like Louise actually had a little bit more character in the the new one than you did in the original the original had plenty of character i'm not saying you did but uh i think ashley is much more likable and and realistic character i i just it i feel like the atmosphere in resident Evil 4 is uh, remake is perfect for that version of resident Evil 4 um it's not i do not agree it's soulless that's just me though I just looked up. I barely looked up. I am, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Well, they're not gonna keep that. I mean, in this day and age, they're not gonna keep it. Sorry, no ballistics. Sadly. I see that the president's equipped his daughter, daughter with ballistics too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevant big ass ears. It's with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh, excuse me, or... I, it's funny, though, because they kept her ballistics. You just don't really notice them until later. Um, and also, everybody's sharing those videos of, like, if you move the character model, her fucking tits go nuts. Which, I, 
the jiggle physics, all right, fine, whatever. But I think the j- jiggle fix, I can't say the fucking word. Jiggle physics are really there for uh, the regenerators later, which are fucking, I don't care what you say, they are way more terrifying than they were in the original. They were more annoying in the original, if I remember. I they were terrifying, I shouldn't say that. But they're fucking horrifying in the new game. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she? Well, you know, don't worry. She's cool. Oh, I I was going to say something. Hey, you see your friend here missing Senorita. Senorita has a name, Miss Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. Encantado. Great. We all have names. (laughs) I love that line. Great, we all have names. Such a good line. Again, very subtle. Doesn't sound like a droning Hans Zimmer s- soundtrack in the original, yes. I mean, the uh, remake. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. I do, I do wish he said that. He said, what does he say again? I forgot what he says. It's not as good. I don't know, does he say that? He says something in Spanish, doesn't he? Hey, hold on. Now I don't remember what he says. I was actually blown away by how easy this fight was in the remake. Oh, he does say Asta Luego. I thought he said something different. Asta Luego. Yeah. I do like he talks a little more. Let's get up. I guess that is a little disappointing. Like his eye just pops out. It doesn't make any sense. But it would pop up. At least that one, he slams his head a little bit more, I feel like. And his eye looks a little bit smaller. I like it just go. Um. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, uh, the transition between him being. Like, you don't see the transformation of him being regular Mendez and then centipede looking dude. I guess. Oh. <laughs> Leon, you didn't just put that in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> sure. Yes. I don't see that uh, being a big difference. Actually, that looks awesome. Love the look of that. Eh. I feel like Ashley didn't look as scared as she should compared to the remake. Okay. more to that cutscene than that. It made it seem like it was way shorter, but whatever. Come on. Chapter in. And then you have to, like, press a button to see your uh, results. Yeah. Did you have to press a button to see those results, though? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Shut up! He's that king it. Man, you a punk. Show I was up. starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. Okay. Two of the fucking... Uh, yeah. What do they call again? It's a boss fight and they combine in the original, don't they? Um, and they don't do that in the new one, which is fine. I don't fucking care. To my castle. Such a pleasure to finally Mr. make your Kennedy. acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. 
I think. Who the hell are you? I think Sal is always better. Oh, please, Ramon. call me Ram Ramon. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my. We've no thanks, bro. I do wish they had that line in it. Oh, that looks so much better. I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, that's so that's so much better, huh? Right? Follow me. <laughs> this room is much easier. Hey. I, I was always saying, Leon, you miss a vase, you fucking asshole. They got plenty of ammo anyway. So. Okay. It's a lot of sound design in this video so far. More so than anything else, because I think art wise, it's been fantastic. Bo both have been fantastic. So. I hate these nights. Yeah, okay, they're not there. Right. Oh, they are. They're more. I think they're in the low areas. Okay. okay. Again, more sound design. Yeah. It's not on. Yeah. Okay. No water. Put your hands where I can I do, I, I like the original Sorry. better too. Wait, 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 wait she throws the glasses and it explodes. <laughs> Damn. Hey! Oh, Sick. Oh, I win. You can stop right there. Would it make me use this? Would you? Well, after six <clears throat> years, that is one hell of a greeting, Ada. You don't seem Ada surprised. Dick. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> She sounds Good really advice. interested there. Try using knives next time. <laughs> Works better for close encounters. Yeah. But they break after like Leon. four fucking parries. Unless you upgrade it. Long time no see. Try using knives next time. Better for close encounters. Not a bad move. Very smooth. So who are you working for this time? Very smooth. Oh, Leon. You know I don't work in town. I just don't understand why they didn't, I mean, again, no hate to Lily Gao. I just don't know why they didn't keep the actress from Remake. It's kind of shitty. Everybody else came back for other things, you know, <clears throat> to, to the point where actors came back to play different characters, like fucking the voice actor for Carlos voiced Chris in, in Village, the voice actor for Carlos in Resident Evil 3 Remake. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> what else fucking Carlos thing would he be? <laughs> the original? I don't think so. Um... And uh, I want to say Jill, the voice actress for Jill, also voices... Um, originally, I thought she voiced Ashley because I heard that online, but that's not true. But she also voiced one of the um, the uh, daughters in, um, in Village as well. So, not the biggest role, but whatever. Yeah. But the Carlos voice actor did a great job as Chris. I actually prefer him in the future if they're going to keep a, a Chris in games, which I would uh, hope they would, considering... <laughs> But who oh, knows? nice! You could join us, Mr. Scott Kennedy. Mr. Scott Kennedy. You are nothing, if not a yelping, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. I just think sadly it's better. Become in, in, in pleasant to our eyes, you will face severe consequences. Oh, Almighty, grant me the strength to crush your enemies. 
don't know. Sure I, think, I just think just tag along so we could see. I just think Mendez is kind of cooler in the remake. I don't know. Oh. Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. But then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you did. I like marshmallows. You have a strange sense of humor. Un forastero! Un forastero! Are you star? Whatever. Okay, again. I, I just feel like a lot of it is just that it's louder, almost. Like, obviously the atmosphere is definitely more emphasized in, uh, sound-wise. And the atmosphere is more emphasized in Resident Evil 4 original, but, uh, I don't know. Pile of guts on the fucking table. The fucking the red dudes, the worst. I hate them. Hey, you got me. Oh shit! Yeah, I actually never saw what happens if you don't break free. You did? I think. Okay. Yeah, these guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does it too. Yeah. Got something that might interest you. I've done. <laughs> hey, this channel is a no shit talking the merchant in either game because they're both perfect. Let's do some business. Yeah, I guess the first time you do see him is a little is a little disappointing because I thought you get a nice cutscene, but he's just like there. He's like, hey. <laughs> I'm over here. He goes. I welcome. The voice is amazing, though. Welcome. Ah, a choice Finally. of an avid gun collector. Ah, gun rhymes with fun for a reason. Gun yes. Love that line. Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come back any time. Like, I didn't want... Yeah, you can't shoot him. Which I actually prefer not being able to shoot him. Because, I mean, it's cool to have that option, but I don't want to shoot him. <laughs> I don't want to do it. He's like your friend. But can't you just upgrade the... uh oh, that's a sick animation. That's a sick animation too. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you can't do the front one, which is really good. That's some disappointing thing. Oh, man. You can only do it from the back. I mean, it's cool that it's in there. I wish the head would explode, but whatever. Yeah, no beheading one, right? It's only this one, which is so weird. Because you, you can get your head cut off in different ways, I want to say. There's a video I stand to watch of all the death animations, which I should. Because I think I've only died, like... Like, Leon dying. I think I've only died maybe three times. I'm playing on standard. But I, I haven't gotten through the whole game yet, so... Oh, yeah, these, these things aren't even in the game. I mean, I guess they are. Yeah, no, no. Oh, my God. I guess they are. No, they, they're the bug guys, but they're not as ferocious. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're easier. The camouflage ones are much easier to spot, too. <laughs> I feel like. Yeah, that was a little disappointing. I didn't see. I've never seen a death like that. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Oh, the Iron Maiden ones, too. Fuck off. I hate those. Oh, they're terrifying. Oh, oh God. That was, that was really good. What the fuck? I guess he didn't go, ooh, and stuck to him, I guess. That's probably why. It's soulless. That's why. Oh, yeah. I was upset he didn't whip out the gat. The, like, oh, yeah, if you fuck up. 
<laughs> but I was upset he didn't whip out the fucking uh, uh, grappling hook thing. Which is weird because Ada has it in the game too. So it's like, why he, he could have one too. Why not? I guess then you'd be arguing like, why the fuck didn't you just use that like multiple times throughout the game? Well, he has Ashley. So well, what the fuck Ashley going to do? But he could have used it multiple other times. Also, he's dead. Rest in peace later. Yeah. Hmm. The sound of what is the satisfying sound of one's in <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> uh, fall for this old trick. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! No! They made Salazar way less childish in the remake, I guess. The stomp his feet, Tito. Who knows this, Pedimos? Senor Kennedy. <clears throat> yeah, still silly, but not in the same way. Like, obviously, he he would probably have no skin on his hands. Oh yeah. She just like. Oh, that's probably actually more terrifying. Yeah, there's only one of these. That's probably legitimately probably more terrifying in the original. I, I will agree. Most of the time, though, in the original, aren't you just like doing quick time events uh, so you don't get hit or whatever? Oh, that's two. That's another one. I love that you have loose for you. Yeah. It's much easier to do that in this, uh, in the original, but in the new one, they actually like go, no, no, no. It's, a, it's more of a cutscene, right? Uh, hey, he grabs you, that's right, if you're too close. Oh! Immediately closes, so. Krauser. The Krauser, Krauser boss fight is so much better. It's so much better. I'm sorry. Now, I won't even. I, I'll take a. I'll take an opinion. You can argue if Krauser himself is better in the original or the remake, but. Major Krauser? What the hell? Why? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. It's really I annoying if you miss pretty much one, you have to go fucking. Wait, can you miss one can you miss a couple before it ends, or is it just like you miss one and you're done? Sample Sadler developed, that's all. Ashley, it was you who oh, got your trick. And I teach you knives are faster. Yeah. Which is funny considering he just told that eight of that. <laughs> nice little knife fight here. We don't need to press fucking buttons and then have to repeat it again if we fuck it up. Leave Ashley out of this. I never liked this book. Oh, I needed her to buy Sadler's trust in me. Like you, I'm American. Oh, I know. Love a good knife fight. Love that you can control this. Parry it. Love that he throws his knife here. Enough oh, talk. Oh. Die, comrade. Oh, my A button. My B button, too. I got me. Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. <laughs> That's a good one. That's Louise instead. Which I actually, I like. I like that Louise gets to do another thing. Enough 
play, rookie. I would love if we got a DLC that wasn't just separate ways. We got another one where, or maybe they could put it in separate ways where we play as Luis, like see what he's doing. Like, I mean, we already know what he was doing, but we could see how he does it throughout the story. You haven't changed a damn bit. Gross. Yeah, you can't do that with this. So you just, you just wait 80,000 credits right there. <laughs> Women. You know they weren't going to put that line in the game. Yeah, it's, a, it's way more aggressive in the original, and the new one he just goes, oh! Women. <laughs> Women. You can't say lines like that anymore. People will get upset and write a fucking Kotaku article about you. Think too hard, handsome. Say how Capcom's tr uh, homophobic and transphobic and femi femi hate and everything. Story of my life. Story of my life. That's a good line, too. You brapping? Yes, a lot of drip noises. That means it's better. <laughs> it's better because it has drip noises. I hope they patch Hello, in the drip stranger. noises. Hello, stranger, I'm just here. I like to see. Yeah. I want to say that's in it though. It's a little different, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know, yeah. not exactly the same boy. Jenna fucking Raiders. Dude, they made it. Did they make them taller in the new one, too? Hey, bitch, what's up? They made them a little chunkier, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a great response. What the fuck? It's goofy. I know. That, that one definitely isn't good about that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like, you can tell from the way the character model looks that that one's animated, like, rigged to be animated. <laughs> And it's a little higher quality. It's funny because the, it's the sound design is more atmospheric, but it's less scary. I don't it just. I think it's just because like Dead Space does it very well, where it's really loud a lot of times. Especially that one room. I think you know what I'm talking about the one that's fucking so loud. It's like nothing ever happens in that room. I don't think a, a necromorph might pop up once or twice, but um. And, and nothing, like, super crazy happens in that one room. If you're familiar with Dead Space, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, like, it's 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 scary. So, yes, like, a, a nice, loud sound design with detailed little, like, droplets and stuff like that it could, could be effective and really put you in the world. Um, but I think subtle shit like this really works. I don't know. Like, because this environment would sound like this if you were here. Like, it's not, you're not going to hear, Rrrr! unless there's something making that, that actual noise, which I'm sure there's plenty of times there are. Um, like, it would be windy, you'd hear wind, I'm sure. But it'd be like this, it'd be more subtle. I say subtle a lot, but to be fair, I've, I've been seeing a, a lot of the same clips a lot of times. Like, they're, they're different clips technically, yes. But they're all like, look at this. This one's loud, this one's not. And this one has drip noises, this one doesn't. You know, so... Witness the power! Witness the power! You're too soft <laughs> to do what's necessary. My name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine... Religious community. I am Osman Sadler, the speaker for our Lord. I like Sadler in the new game a little bit more personally. It's kind of sick. I forgot about that part. It was just real quick. Yeah, they kept that. You entertain <laughs> me to show my appreciation. I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. <laughs> world of cliches. Here's a big giant eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder if I should shoot that. Forsaken. 
no idea what he's saying there. Oh, that's a goofy looking fuck. Ew, nasty. Do people like that boss fight in Resident Evil 4? In the original? I don't remember it that much, but... I hear about every other boss fight besides Saddlers. <laughs> the second form of Saddlers fun, I guess. He's like, oh, fuck. Uh, ow! Fucking dick. Oh, he's going nuts. So he's moving around a lot. Look at him. He's going, he's going less nuts, but still. I mean, to be fair, that's more threatening looking. I'll give you that. He's like, uh. <laughs> Fuck a big ass eye. Look at that. His eye, tw eye, eye injuries? Probably the worst thing you could see in a movie. I'm sorry. Like, just thinking about eye injuries right now. Like, someone slices an eye. When it's a big, goofy-looking eye like that, I'm fine with it. <laughs> you dunzo. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada. You do know what this is. Mm. <laughs> Ida, what the hell are you doing? Nothing personal, Leon. Louis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. <laughs> ho ho! You're a fucking. Assassin's Creed diving into the helicopter blades. I'm gonna assume the helicopter was further away and she used the grapple hook. It would make Helicopter right there, she just. She really pushed it. That fucking bitch. Wait, I will take the helicopter ride. Never mind. Like in the in the remake, they she does offer him a ride, and he's like, nah. <laughs> and then everything starts to blow up. I guess I guess it's better that they didn't show it was her that made the island blow up in the remake. So it's like, all right, well, shit. But doesn't she offer a ride? Very cute. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> I was better. That's a better line. <laughs> like through eyes, you gonna love this. Imagine going through all that shit and just blowing up on a fucking a jet ski <laughs> or uh, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh that. Uh, okay. No, that does suck. That's bad. <laughs> Come on. That's bad. They're just both on it. Oh, oh, we're dead. Wait, let me go back. Oh, uh, if you wait too long, it explodes. Okay. You are dead. <laughs> Love it. Wow. Damn, they really they, they didn't give it any thought for the end, huh? Rainbow. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen to me. Let's go! What? Ashley doesn't fall off into the water? Fuck this game. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. I can't see up her skirt anymore. Let's go home. What the fuck? Sounds like a 
Great. Your big ass Will Smith ears? Yeah. The fuck? Mission accomplished. Right, Leon. It looks like fucking she could take flight. Not quite. She fell into the water and she just started flying. Her fucking oh, big ass goddamn dumbo ears. Mission accomplished, right? Yes. No, no overtime. Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. When you're home safe. Thank you for smooth. saving me. Leon's a smooth fuck. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, you want to have I'll sexual sex? Some, uh, overtime. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? You know, so lame. <laughs> I could play the word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even she, she, if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. I wish there was a little bit more in the ending. Like, if, if, like just maybe, like, post, you know, like... The, like, he, he's debriefing or something like that, or something. I wish they would they just add a little bit more to the to the story, not the lore. They actually did add a little bit to the lore. But, um, I don't know. Condor 1? They, I... I haven't finished it myself, but I have seen the full... I've, I've seen a full playthrough for the game. That's why I know. I know I know about the cutscenes and stuff. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It's the, the regenerators that are making me not want to play the rest of the game because they scare me too much. I'm a fucking giant pussy. I play all these horror games. I just... I literally just played fucking... If you count this right now, I've played three horror games in the last three months. Or four months. Whenever Callisto Protocol came out. Um, and Dead Space Remake. And this. Um... Is there something else? There may, it might have been somewhere, something else. I don't know. But even before Dead Space, uh, I played... Uh, what did I play right before that? I played something horror. Um, eh, whatever. I even started up Resident Evil 3 Remake. Just like I got like maybe halfway through it again just before this came out because I was getting excited. Uh, I was like, you know, I've, I've only played Resident Evil 3 Remake once. And I think that's underrated. I, don't know. I, know, I know a lot of people love the original and all the shit that they took out. Me, personally, I never was like the biggest fan of 3. I think it's great, but like a lot of people think so. there's there's a good amount of people that think that's the best Resident Evil game, which I, I I just don't agree with. But I also don't agree Resident Evil Four is the best Resident Evil game. So what the fuck do I know? Um, I think Resident Evil Two is the best Resident Evil game, but whatever. So who was that woman anyway? Why do you ask? <laughs> Come on, tell me. She just offered sex. What the fuck do you think? Why she wants? Me? <laughs> She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Let's go. I mean, we got a long ride back. I hope we have enough gas. I mean, I guess it'll be okay. Whatever. I mean, really, Leon's in Resident Evil 6, so he's fine. I don't know about Ashley. Okay, nice little out of camera shots or whatever. Just to... Yeah, that, that was just completely gone. This is a completely. <laughs> I don't know, that was funny. Um, that was completely gone from a. That, this is to show all the stuff that's gone, right? Because so far everything here, yeah, this is gone. Yeah, the, it's it, like the yeah the truck that that actually upset me. I, I wish the tr the truck was there. But I feel like all the stuff they added was really good. Like, really good additions. So, yeah, this, uh, what do they call this? The Hell in the Cell? Is what the people call this? Yeah, I, I never liked that sequence. So, I'm okay for that not being there. Yeah. Well, this is good this isn't in it, because it fucking annoyed me when, eh! And she runs away or whatever. Like, at least it made it make sense in Resident Evil 4 remake. I mean, I guess it made sense for Ashley's character in Resident Evil 4 to act like that because she was already fucking annoying anyway. They did. They do keep this kind of. They, 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 they tipped their hat to this, which I actually really liked. I like the little. Uh, yeah, that's not there. We have to stay in room before she gets mulched, which is again good. This room is not in there, yes. There's a lot of stuff that's not in there. 
I, I, a lot of it I don't really mind not being there. I, I'm surprised they actually kept the minecarts. They did not keep that, sadly. They, hey, it's in the it's in the Resident Evil movie, I guess. Which came out before Resident Evil 4, but still. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's kind of there, but not, not really. And again, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. Yeah, we didn't get a, a, a Hunnigan, like, debriefing at all. Like, I, actually, towards the end, when I was watching the last couple hours, I was like, oh, yeah, dude, Hunnigan. We, we, it was, like, a long period where we didn't even talk to Hunnigan. Returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? <laughs> yeah, that would never happen. Story of my life. There you go, story of my life. <laughs> I forgot about that, too. Uh, I do remember the story of my life, though. Uh, I forgot about the, hey, you want to... <laughs> he just straight up kick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you would never be able to do that anymore. You can't, you can't hit on women anymore. People get upset. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, it'd be one thing if she was like, "Oh, Leon, oh, oh, well, I'm, I'm wet or something," but she's like, "Man, fuck you." <laughs> Yo, Leon, just want a little bit of pussy. Come on, hook a brother up, some pussy. Anyway, um, now I, I would like to bring up that I think stuff like that is perfectly fine. So, hey, if we can have, uh, in the last Thor movie, uh, Chris Hemsworth fucking cheeks out and everybody's like, oh, yeah, oh, my wee-wee and my, uh, my poo-poo, my, not my poo-poo, no, not that, uh, my, uh, pahu, I already said pussy like five times, I don't know why I know what I'm saying, uh, uh, y'all, I'm hard, I'm rock hard and my, I, and I'm wet. If we can, if that's fine, then I think, uh, Leon could be like, uh, hey, you want, yo, what's up, girl? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? But, uh, it's fun. It's a different Leon. It, it wouldn't make sense if the Leon was like that when he wasn't like that at all in Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's the same actor, too, so it'd be a little, be a little weird. I mean, it's six years, sure, but if he was, like, military guy for six years really training and stuff, I don't think he'd be, he'd be like, yo, what's up, girl? Yo, what's up, baby? But for six years, he probably didn't get a lot of, you know, Attention, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, you, you know his ass, dude. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Look at Leon. God damn. Anyway, motherfucker's like 60. I mean, 60. Uh, he's uh, he, what, like 27? I think he, he, no, he's 26. Because he was 20 when he was in Resident Evil 2, right? And it's been six years since Resident Evil 2. Dude, his ass is mid 20s and still fucking. He's fighting monsters and goblins. He, I, I'm sure he has enough time to get some fucking. Poo-tang. Anyway, so... Do people say Poo-tang anymore? Anyway. Is it Poo-tang or is it Poon-tang? It's Poon-tang. Anyway. Soul versus Soulless Resident Evil 4 comparison. Uh, I... I don't agree with a lot of the shots, but to be fair, it's... Kroby Cat's not really illustrating like he's, like they said in the, the description. It's not really illustrating like that everything is bad in Resident Evil 4. It's just like... It's a comparison. I get it. I just don't think so. Resident Evil 4... I think Resident Evil 4 is the best game of the year. And, and it's fantastic. And I prefer it over the original. Uh, Gameplay-wise, at least. Story-wise, too. I think there's just better characterization and stuff. And sure, the cheesy shit is... A lot of it's gone. Yes. But the original's still there. And this game is fantastic, too. So, I don't... I, like, it, it remind me a little bit... It's not the same thing. But I remember when people were complaining about uh, Toy Story 4... Like, but Toy Story 3 was a great ending. I think Toy Story 4 is also a great ending. So now you just have another great ending. Um, and it's a, it's another thing where you don't need to watch Toy Story 4. Or you just don't need to, you know? Hey, if you think Toy Story 3 was a great ending, don't watch Toy Story 4. Or, or watch it and think of it like a, like when it, when they were doing those, like, Toy Story 3, like, shorts after Toy Story 3 came out. You know what I mean? Like, didn't they do, like, two? Um, and I think they were set after Toy Story 3. So it's like, all right, what? Well, just think of it like another thing. All right, here's another thing. It's not really... You can pretend it's like not a part of the canon, I guess. Whatever. Um, but people were, like, losing their minds when the, the movie came out. I remember going, like, Jesus, really? 
I would rather have shit like that than some of the other Pixar movies that have been coming out in the last few years. So anyway, uh, Soul vs. Soulless Resident Evil 4 comparison. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the link. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.